Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is the Rental Man Buck, and welcome back to the homeowner series. As you guys can tell, uh, things look a little bit different here, as in, like, there's a bigger path leading from the neighbors to the path here and everything else. Today is a super busy day. I have to, I have to plant some, uh, I actually have to lay some mulch here, tear this grass out. It is a busy, 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 busy day. Did I mention it's busy? One thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be getting rid of these three benches right here. Um, I personally just, they're they're not too old, but I found a great deal at Walmart for some outdoor patio equipment slash whatever. We'll be getting a new gazebo. We've been having some landscape coming in here this morning. We had it resawed re around here. Half the reason was why we got this part of the grass done. We still need to mow the rest of it. I'm also kind of judging some more stuff off of kind of like how actually my house is. Uh, the... It's pretty much like two giant mulch patches with a bunch of bushes. So we'll be putting a little bit more landscaping stuff down in here. A little bit more stuff over here so that way the flagpole is not surrounded by grass. And then there's just a little hill of mulch. Uh, this does lead a little bit of a path up here. We're going to be putting a nice gazebo upright in here. As well as some furniture and some tables and everything else. We also have invested in about 30 light paths. Like path lights. Like the little ones that will sit on the side so that way we can light up at night. Know where we're going and not trip over. But enough blabbering. We also did invest in a pressure washer that we can move around. So that'll be nice to be portable. Clean off the rental, clean off the truck, clean off the mowers after that. I need them. Scrape off the decks, make sure all the grass is done. Uh, speaking of mowers, though, we're also getting a new Hustler uh, 6000 Series Zero Turn. We still have to get some of the stickers for the side as we got this one. Uh, we bought this from Toro themselves. But there was a mistake in the manufacturing thing where they got the stickers on the side wrong. So they're sending us a pair of uh, 6,000 series decals. They said it was 5,000, but it was actually six. Someone messed up on the assembly line, but enough blabbering. We need to, first of all, get our gate loaded up here. We'll start up the F-150. Oh. There we go. And let's make our way over to... Home Depot, not Home Depot, we need to make our way over to Walmart to the Home and Garden Center because we need to go and pick up all of our stuff. We ordered four uh, regular like lawn chairs. We also ordered three style park benches to replace the ones in there and two uh, almost like beach style lawn chairs and one giant glass table. Now the glass table, I don't know whether or not carrying back all in one load. Like I said, this is gonna take a couple of trips to get because there is so much. We did have our uh, Toro, though, opted to be at TSC, so we're going to have to go over to the landscape shop, uh, probably take the OBS quick, with that or the Chevy. We'll take um, a newer trailer. I'll describe to you guys that one in the next landscaping video, which will probably not be the next video, but the next video after that, because uh, the guys and I were getting the 90 series going now. I'll probably be doing a little bit more on that. There's our Toro sitting right there. She's ready to go. We'll take a look at that once we get there, but we're going to be making a right in here. I did go into the map a little bit to edit the terrain, so that way it's a little bit easier to get into the uh, store parking lots and all that. But over here, we should have the... It should be on the other side of this. Yep, there they all are. These are all movable. They are not strappable. I keep forgetting to make stuff strappable because I'm a ding-dong. But it is movable because I prefer to be able to move something around rather than uh, not being able to. Like the benches that are at the house currently, they're not like movable, they're just placeable. So I'll have to move with the... Uh, but now that we got uh, ramp down, let's get all this stuff loaded up. This is going to take a few trips, so this part will just be time lapse from me going back and forth. Once we get all this stuff back to the house, then we'll be ready to go. So I'll catch you all in just a second. As you guys could tell there, I did have a little bit of a slip up when it came to the table. I thought that the collisions on this thing would be fine when it came to loading up, but we'll just unload this stuff really quickly. We gotta make sure that we're careful though because of that top of that table is glass. Because farm sim physics will not allow us to break it, 
we'll still consider it uh, precious cargo and that we will take pride in unloading it and that it totally did not just happen but let's get all of our table stuff here unloaded and then we'll make our way back to the store for the second round later and here we are we're just gonna load the last of these up fairly quickly we'll probably have to get this this trailer is already getting some scratches on it from the wear it's been a really good trailer she's um I can't complain it's been the best trailer I've ever had but as we load up these final pieces which I'm gonna have to hop into the trailer to most oh I have to pull this one towards the side that's why there we go I was like I swear I could fit these trailers in here uh, we'll see if we can't fit this last one in the bed because I really don't want to make two trips. The only other way I think I can do this is if I flip this around. Actually, let's try that. Flip it around. Flip it upside down. We'll see. Oh, that's right. I mind. I set the center of mass too low, so let's just do that. Oh, maybe. No. Aha, there we go. All right, let's make our way back. It's not the most stable way, but it's better than nothing. Uh, we will make sure that is strapped, AKA wink, wink. But now that we have all of our furniture here, what we'll do is we'll get back to the house. We already have the, in other words, not necessarily set, but we already have all the wood ready to go for the gazebo. So we'll get that place down and then we'll also uh, get out our little path lights, which are behind me. It's back here in the other, it's underneath the seat, so you guys can't see it. But we got a pretty decent pack of them. Plus, we have a tree, nurse, or a tree nursery coming out here with a bunch of bushes. They're going to help out, get the rest of the property, in other words, spiffied up. And then we're going to go and get our mower. And if we have time, we'll probably mow the rest of the, the lawn with the new... Uh, Toro, we did get our Hustler back from Hustler themselves. They got the a carburetor issue figured out. Apparently the tuning on the actual throttle plate itself to let the air in, it was not uh, tuned correctly, so it was pretty much sucking air, and it wasn't getting enough. So they got that all fixed up for us. I would have fixed it, but I did not want to touch a brand new mower. Even though it would have, even though I knew I probably would have, could have been looking for, I just didn't really want to mess with that. But we're back at the house now. We got the last of all of our new furniture. What I think we're gonna do is we'll also just get rid of the old, the old benches uh, while we're getting everything else set. But in between that time and getting the gazebo built, I'll just uh, let you guys know once we get this done. Because again, this will probably take about an, a couple hour or two or so to get all this stuff set up woods behind the woods on the back side of the house and all the furniture needs to be set up so i'll catch you all once we get to a good uh catching back on place
we're just rolling the last chair up here. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to set these two side by side for right now. <clears throat> but here's the new game plan. We got rid of the old benches right here. Uh, this will just kind of be now of an open walkway. I really do like this. I think it's like a forest ground, but it looks like more like mulch to me. Slash a decorative kind of ish ground. So I, I, pr I prefer that. But we got the three benches here now. All of which have been uh, nicely where it was placed into a semicircle and all that. We did end up putting two chairs into storage for right now. We got one right there and we got one right there. Those are just going to be put away for at the moment. Uh, the new gazebo is right here. <clears throat> it's sort of a really dark stained uh, cherry wood. I know that cherry is not that red, but we got it stained to be that red. So it really pops. We got the nice big glass table right here. It is underneath some sort of storage. If it gets to be like hailing and stuff, we could probably throw a tarp over the top of this. But our nice two chairs. Uh, this little bench right here mainly is just meant so you can sit out and kind of look at the lake slash the trees and all thing else. Only thing we need to do now is get the path lights in as well as all the bushes. So I'll catch you guys. Uh, I'll take you guys along for the ride on this one because I like to show that part of the landscaping stuff if I can, if it's not too much. But since we haven't done much today, uh, let's get all that landscaping done. So let's go. Two of the benches, though, were reused. I just put them over here. And we did get all the path lights in. These little ones. These will light up at night, putting a little uh, light on the ground. But a bunch of them. I like these. And then we got our nice big glass table right here underneath our new gazebo. If anything else, we can put a tarp over the top. Or we can put that in the, uh, in the garage. Got our two nice little chairs with the flowers around it. And the... Uh, landscape looking out towards the beach which you guys can tell I obviously put down a lot more uh, flowers wrapping around here I personally like these just because it gives the landscape a little bit more of a nice little touch to it goes all the way up to the edge here and then this has also been adjusted up here as you guys can see the secondary path that goes from this side of the tree it comes down here 
in from the path that there's like two bushes, a couple more flower beds, uh, Grant's ugly bush that I like a beautiful little spruce tree, bush, a couple flowers, and then two entrance lights along with the mail, which we still did not get yet today. Okay, good. There's nothing important. And then we readjusted the flower path here just a little bit up to the flagpole so it's a little more uniform. But that should be it for all of that. So we'll get the Ford here finished up. We'll park the, our little trailer. <clears throat> we'll head over to the landscape shop and then we will grab the new Toro at TSC with the new trailer. So I shall see you all in just a second. Huh, I guess Tim's here because the gates are open. Interesting. <clears throat> well, we'll roll up here. I think we'll just park it right here because there's literally no one here today besides Tim. <clears throat> and he walks to work. That's why you guys never see his vehicle. He drives like some Volkswagen, uh, like Visera or whatever it is, that thing. But you guys will know more about this trailer when it comes to uh, next landscape episode. Pick that one up off of Craigslist for a quick buy. I believe we got it for like 2100 bucks. There's a quick buy, and it's going to be helpful because now we can haul our Zeo turns on it. Hence the reason I'm going to use that today. Uh, it also can help us haul the JCB. We did rearrange where the Lizard Road Rage is, aka my Ford Transit. But we'll get this all hooked up, and then we'll head up to TSC. There's a lot more still coming to the landscaping series, as well as the homeowner series. Uh, but like I did say, we did get our Hustler back. Uh, we did recently get a few more of the... Like, oh, shoot, I am way off. Uh, we did get a few more of the brands done for the Zero Turn, so that is still making headway as well. Just again, I keep getting in the wrong vehicle. But let's make our way over to TSC quick. We'll leave this open because it won't take too long to get here and back. But until we get there, I'll catch you all when we get to TSC. And here we are rolling up into Tractor Supply Co. Finally. I like the way they fix the entranceways to these places now. It's so much nicer to get in here, but and here, but there's our new Toro um, 6000 series. We still got to get the decals, which are going to go right there along the side of that. But this is our new uh, Z Master uh, Turbo Force 72 inch cutting deck mower. We did opt for the hood on this one, and it is the gas mower because we do not have our green caps on here. I know the mowers, when, even when they're diesel, they don't have the caps on there, but. We'll fire this up, and we'll just check underneath the hood. I think it's... This will raise up our bars. Yes, and then there's the hood. See the nice Kawasaki with our... Oh, good, we did get the cover over the top of the shroud. But we did get that. So let's close our hood. And we'll leave our rollover bars up for right now, because it's good to keep those up. I still haven't fixed the animation of the chute yet, but this last button is supposed to control that from go for going up and down. I love this thing. The brands that have been done right now are Deer, Hustler, Skag, Bobcat, Kubota, not Kubota, Deer, Hustler, Skag, Toro, uh, Bobcat, and I'd have to look at it. It's the other one. Oh, Bob, Bad Boy. Bad Boy's the other one. And as you guys saw there, I did run over the deck a little bit, but that's also because the little, uh, in other words, ground wheels, they do work. If you do hit the ground with these things, those little wheels do spin. But... We'll park that right there because I don't want to necessarily have the bed be clipping, the deck be clipping through the fenders of the trailer. So we'll make our way back and I'll catch you all at the house. I don't know how on earth you can miss my house now with that giant RV in the, in the driveway. But we'll back this thing in and we'll unload it. We'll probably, we'll probably get our F-150 back and then we'll move on and we'll call it good there. Now, I think our best option for storing this thing is probably going to be in the main garage because I don't have room in the shed in the back, but let's at least see what our room when it comes to, like, maneuverability through the yard looks like because i got to make sure we can get through places like here. Oh, we should be fine. We'll clip the trees every once in a while, but I think we are good. Let's actually turn around to get out of here because I don't want to hit any of these new... Uh, lawn chairs. They kind of suck. Ooh. Okay, we'll nudge that one. We'll be fine. We hit the wheel. But let's get the 150 back to the house, and then we will get the rest of this all taken care of. 
We're just backing up the trailer here because we just got back. We uh, did call Tim quick just to make sure of what's going on with those trailer doors. He said that the guys were doing a job across town and that they were just getting things prepped, but they went to go get lunch quick. So that's all good. And so uh, but that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. I'll get the lawn mode off camera because of that new stuff that was laid down. It's probably going to be better just to wait for that stuff to grow out and then mow the lawn all at once. But thank you all for watching this one. Be sure to check out the Boomstick Club with all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You all know who is in it. But be sure to smash that like button and possibly subscribe. Hit the little bell if you really enjoy the content here. We're going to have to get somewhere to store this RV because I won't be able to park the 150 in the garage anytime soon. That or the mower. I actually want to get this inside. But, but like I said, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for coming and checking out the video. Uh, that's going to do it for this one, um, and this will be the rental man out, and hopefully I can get a little bit more done with this new Toro, because I like zero turns. This is the rental man out. Peace.